Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of Get Good at Open Rollercoast Tycoon 2. Multiplayer is one of the most fun features that were added to the game by Open Rollercoast Tycoon 2, and in this episode I will explain how to set up your own server for this game. Now, you cannot just jump in and add your server to the list. If you try to do this, nobody will be able to see your game, unless you give others your IP address and port number for the game you set up, and then they have to enter it manually. That's not very user friendly at all. The correct method to do this is by opening up a port in your router. Now, if you're not allowed to log into your router, then sadly the tutorial ends here for you. To log onto your router, you should usually open a browser and enter the IP address of your router. The default IP address differs for every router. You can typically find it by connecting to the network and then opening up a command prompt. If you type ipconfig slash all and then press enter, you should see the IP address of your router under default gateway. For me, the router IP address is 192.168.2.254, but for you it's probably different. The default password for your router can usually be found in the menu. I immediately changed it when I logged on for the first time. Anyway, now comes the part which is most difficult to write a tutorial for, because every router brand has their own software and different settings can usually be found in very different places. There's two things you should really do. So the first step, uh, most routers give you a local uh, IP address using a protocol called DHCP. My router is in the 192.168.2.xxx range. So it will also give out IP addresses in this range. Port forwarding on my router forwards packets to a set IP address. Because of that, I have to make sure my computer always gets the same IP address, or else uh, it would send uh, packets uh, to a different device the next time I log on to the network. And that's something we want to prevent. So. Because of this, I have to make sure my computer always gets the same IP address. To do this, I have to find a table called static DHCP. There I could assign a static IP address to a computer. In order to assign an IP address to a computer, you need to know the MAC address of the network port. For example, if you connect to the router over Wi-Fi, you need to assign static IP address to the Wi-Fi card in your computer. In order to find the MAC address of your, uh, of your network card, you should open a command prompt and again type ipconfig slash all. You will there find the MAC address under physical address. Then you can assign the static IP address to the MAC address. When this is done, your computer should always get the same IP address from your router. Uh, you have to choose an IP address to give to, to your computer and it's probably safest just to give it the IP address it got when it did not have a static IP address yet and you can find the IP address also under ipconfig slash all for me the IP address my computer got was 192.168.2.12 but yeah <laughs> again for you it's uh, most likely different the second step is uh, actually setting up the port forwarding. Now that your computer has a static IP address, uh, you can set up the port forwarding. This may be difficult to find in some routers, uh, for me it was under NAT, which means Network Address Translation, and then under Port Mapping. It's probably different than yours. If you cannot find it, uh, the manual of the router or Google can usually help you. Uh, Port forwarding is something uh, many people will look up how to do, so Google is really your best friend here. There are usually several fields uh, you have to fill in under uh, the port forwarding. So uh, usually you have to put up an IP address, so there you should put the static IP address that you gave to your computer. Uh, Open Rollercoast Tycoon 2 uses TCP protocol, so under protocol you should select TCP. For the port number, uh, the standard port number Open Rollercoast Tycoon 2 uses is 11753. 
I'm already using that port number in my router for my other server, so in this example I will use port 11754. If there's a LAN port and a public port you have to fill out, uh, you can typically just put the same port number in both. Now for me there was also a check mark I had to enable uh, to actually enable this port forwarding rule to be activated. Now like I said, uh, this uh, yeah, this description I just gave was uh, really how I did it in my router. The port forwarding may be different in your router. Maybe you can already uh, forward uh, a port number to a certain MAC address. Or maybe it already shows your uh, computer name. Um, so yeah, it's kind of difficult to make a tutorial for this. But uh, this is the situation like it is for me. And again, if you cannot find out how to do this, uh, just uh, Google the answer. Or uh, yeah, just uh, try asking other people who know how your uh, router may work. Alright, now that we have uh, filled out this information, the port forwarding uh, should be set up correctly to open our server. So now we'll open uh, Open Royal Ghost Tech on 2 and uh, set up the server in the, in the game. Okay, I have now opened up uh, Open Royal Ghost Tech on 2. Uh, we've set up the port forwarding, so now we want to actually uh, set up a server. So we just go to multiplayer here. Uh, you can put your player name here. Then we go to start server. Um, I will use the port that I uh, configured for the in the port forwarding. I put the port uh, 11,754. Uh, I just made a server here named uh, Free Cookies here. Um, it's just a silly name I use now to check if the server actually works. So yeah, you can put a password if you want, and you can set the maximum number of players. Um, the check mark for advertise should be set, or else people will not see uh, your server in the list. Now I put two spaces in front of the name just to put it higher in the list. You really shouldn't uh, do that, but we'll do it now for just for uh, just so we can actually see some people not entering the server now. So you can load a game um, in which you. Uh, actually load one of your saves and then you can just uh, play online with your save uh, but now for this example we'll just put a new game and we'll just put uh, forest frontiers so uh, yeah now we are playing uh, forest frontiers the server is called free cookies here so uh, it shouldn't take long for uh, people to enter the server if we set it up correctly that is but uh, I trust uh, we did that. So I will now fast forward a bit just to uh, make sure we see some people entering. By the way, um, this is also the place where you can uh, see who's logged onto your server. Uh, you can also see what group they are in and their last action, etc. In uh, this tab you can set up groups, so here you can see uh, the default groups uh, people who enter will be added to. So currently it's spectator, so people who enter the server uh, are automatically set up as a spectator. If you want to put people in a different group, for example a user, and there you can see someone that just entered the server. So he's a spectator, so he cannot build right now. If you want to let him build, you can just set him to user here. And <laughs> you don't actually see it happen now because he uh, actually left the server. So yeah, it's uh, wise to uh, keep this uh, default group at spectator. Because uh, it means uh, people won't be immediately able to build because uh, there's always some people who just come into the server and like to destroy stuff. And admin is definitely not a wise uh, uh, default group to put players in. Anyway, these, uh, these uh, user groups you can uh, edit them if you want. But uh, that's really something for a different uh, tutorial. But yeah, as you could see someone just logged into the server. So uh, that means I set it up uh, correctly. 
Anyway, that's how you set up a server in the Open Rollercoaster Tycoon 2. Um, like I said, the port forwarding is different for every router, and it's impossible for me to make a tutorial for every uh, kind of router. So yeah, if you don't, uh, if you don't uh, get it to work, just uh, ask around on uh, on the forums, on Google, anywhere. All right, that was it for this tutorial. Uh, I hope it's useful for you, and I hope to see you again in the next one. See you later.